जय श्री कृष्ण एंड आई हैव बीन रीडिंग द बुक ओ कृष्णा कम अगेन बाय डॉक्टर दिनकर जोशी इट हैज सम इंटरेस्टिंग पैसेजेस व्हिच आई डिड नॉट नो अबाउट अक्रूर्स रिपेंटेंस फॉर मेकिंग कृष्णा कम टू मथुरा काइंड ऑफ रिपेंटिंग एंड देन आल्सो द श्यामंतक जेम Uh, Satyabhama and Jambuvati daughter of Jambuvan how Krishna got to marry <coughs> Satyabhama and Jambuvati interesting there is also about the uh, about Kansa's why he was such an angry man but i particularly was not very happy reading it because it talks about when Krishna gives up the body and udho who is krishna's close friend is now coming to gokul to meet radha because krishna has told udho to go back to gokul meet radha and tell her that krishna has left the body and i'd like to read to you a few passages because it has touched me and i would myself like to hear this again and again as i close my eyes and imagine it so i hope you will feel this as much as i have so udha comes to gokul and he is asking for the uh, place where radha lives it seems ryan was the name of the of radha's husband so this old woman who from who udha is asking the address of radha rani she replies ryan that woman's eyes blinked with surprise you from where are you coming maharaj lot of time has passed since ryan left for heaven udha closed his eyes from somewhere within he shivered it was as if ryan's five elemental body appeared alive in front of him now this ryan is also not there nand baba is not there mother yashoda also has bid farewell krishna also has dropped his body sankarshan balram has also gone and that three both remain looking at one another so the old woman says that there, there is no need to tell radha that elderly woman laughed out see there you see radha she has become old woman has gone her husband has gone even then she does not leave decorating herself with flowers and neither does she leave smearing sandal paste see how she is standing adorned with ornament just see udha saw yes it was indeed radha she is not an old widow which this old woman telling about she is just as she was at the time of the ras leela on the bank of kalindi yes she has become a bit weak her attire ornaments sandal paste smear garland everything was as fresh as it was then the smile on her face has not disappeared the very same faith in her eyes the same adoration was gleaming there was no expectation there was no worry she was the personification of simplicity and utter peace udha remained stunned then he said radha an indistinct tone came out of udha who udha a counter question could be heard from radha udha was standing in a little darkness radha did not have even an inkling of his coming by just the one word that had come out from his lips how did radha recognize him udha became overwhelmed it was as if arjuna's despondency on the first day of the beginning of kurukshetra war was recurring it was in that manner in which udha kept looking at radha with unblinking eyes udha observed that the elderly woman had no interest in radha's talk she went away from there radha asked udha carefully observing radha who was standing near hope all is well with you and radha laughed out the same innocent laugh even her laughter had not changed a bit the fragrance of sandalwood and flowers was coming from her body you are asking about radha's well being udha it was only yesterday that you had come from mathura with krishna's message then only yesterday 
Uddhava was startled. What are you saying, Radha? Have you forgotten the, ti- the time ocean of a complete apex time span? span? Why forget? Radha laughed again. This time her laughter has spread wide on her mouth. It was as if she was mocking at Uthav. It appears as if old age has crept over you, Uthav. Tell me what message have you brought me about Krishna? Yes, Radha, Uthav said slowly. This time it is indeed my task to convey Krishna's message to you. Krishna's message. Tell me, Uthav, tell me quickly. For the first time, Radha became a bit restless. Please do not delay in conveying Krishna's message. Radha, with much feeling, Uthav placed his hand on Radha's head. Krishna, Krishna has said, but words again got stuck. What has Krishna said, Uthav? What has Krishna said? Radha was staring at Uthav with unblinking eyes. Krishna has said that, that Radha, Krishna is not there now. Even in climbing the Himalaya steep, steep line, it had not so much effort as much as it was, as much as it took for Udha to complete one sentence. Udha was completely exhausted. Krishna is not there, Radha burst out laughing. What is this you are saying, Udha? Krishna himself told that. Krishna is not there. And to see this little news, why did he send you? Wow, how curious. Krishna is not there, Radha went on laughing freely. Radha, you you don't understand anything. Udha fell into a dilemma. The news which he has to tell Radha, with that he has so much distress. And, and here... There is no value for that news. Why? Why are you laughing so much? You are telling news which is worth laughing at with her. Curbing her laughter with difficulty, Radha said. Have you seen this sky, Udho? Suddenly raising her eyes up showed him the sky. Sky? Udho turned his eyes towards the sky. One or two stars had come out, like the flowers braided on Radha's head. These stars in the sky. And there, can you see the Kalindi? Radha asked the next question. In that deepening darkness, Udha saw the Kalindi shining like the silver lining. Kalindi is a river. And this wind, and there near the tree, those peacock feathers, you are able to see all these, isn't it? Radha asked Udha, bringing her mouth close to Udha's ear. Radha, what is all this you are saying? You are seeing all these with your eyes and still you are seeing that Krishna is not there? Is this not a laughing matter, Udho? Surely old age has disillusioned you, said Radha. Radha, Radha, why don't you understand? Udho became restless. Krishna's five elemental body is not there amidst us now. Finally, Udho said that, that which he was hesitating to tell. Radha suddenly became solemn. Without blinking, she began staring at Udha. Krishna's five elemental body? Radha caught hold of Udha's hand. Come, Udha, come. Just now Krishna was here only. Come, let me take you to him. So saying, Radha got hold of Udha and pulled him. Udha's like staggered a little. He got pulled by that fast moving steps of Radha. Radha, Radha, what is this you are saying? Tried stopping her during most of the way, but Radha moved on as if she heard nothing. She continued to walk fast. Udha had no other alternative than to follow Radha. The echo from their feet went on rising on the calm lanes of Gokul. Oh brother, going near the cow herd, Udha asked, Why are you calling Radha mad? So Radha went on like this until... There was, oh, this is the same ascetic. So the echo from, but Radha moved on as if she heard nothing. She continued to walk fast. Udha had no other alternative than to follow Radha. The echo from their feet went on rising in the calm lanes of Gokul, went on rising. Oh, this is the same ascetic, said someone from the crowd in front seeing Udha. The same ascetic, you know, who had met Udha as he entered Gokul. Udha looked in the direction from which the voice came, but could not see the face. And where is this stranger said going with this mad woman at this time? Someone asked the question. Mad, Radha? Udha's leg stopped. He was nothing more than a stranger ascetic in Gokul. Radha went on as if she had not heard anything, had not seen anything. She kept walking with steady steps. Udha stopped a little behind. 
O oh brother, going near the cowherd Udhav asked, Why are you calling Radha mad? If not mad, then what, Maharaj, someone said. Her husband has died, yet she does not leave her adornment. Now you yourself tell, if a widow wears such attire, does a, such adornment, then what is she if not mad? Radha was a widow. And I am reminded of what Meera says. Aise var ko kya varu, jo janme aur mar jaye. Var varu mein samariyo ko mero kundalo amar ho jaye. Which means that I marry, if I marry a man, a human, he will live and he will die. But I want to marry Krishna so that my kundalo, my, my suhag, my, my adornment, he will not die. So I can always be dressed in beautiful attires. And there is so much more that she says because she says she says that she sees Krishna all the time. And Uthav said Radha, the hour in which Krishna went to Mathara, that very hour Krishna pervaded Radha's being in her each and every hair The Krishna of Gokul was visible now. This Krishna, every moment was present everywhere. At the time of bidding farewell, whether his bidding farewell from Mathura, Krishna had said. What had he said, Radha asked Uta. Krishna had said, Radha, as long as you keep this fragrance permeating, no one will be able to separate you from Krishna. Even destiny remembering this moment will stand still, O Radha. Radha continued, these ornaments, these flower garlands, this sandal paste smear and this beautiful dress, all these were very dear to Krishna, Uta, very dear. That moment I was in this attire form and that is why that same Radha is continuing to relive that relive that very moment in the presence of that very Krishna. See Udha, Krishna renounced only them who had bid him farewell. Saying this much, Radha again burst out laughing so loud that Udha was taken aback and the ocean wailed up in Radha's eyes unrestrained. Udha got the answer to a moment question, all which was playing in his mind since many days. Why Krishna remembered Radha in this last hour? Now no question remained unanswered, nor any confusion or co- complication. Udha, what are we searching for in this creation, which emanated from void and whose end is also in void? Between the beginning and end of void, what else but void can be there? The fast-flowing waters of Alakhananda, the eco-producing Himalaya mountains, and the huge and the huge rocks, even in that resounding abyss, it was as if Udha was hearing only Krishna's voice. And I think I will stop here and hope you ponder over it. Radha's love for Krishna, which had no conditions, which mattered not whether he was near or far. He was always with her. So you take care and God bless.